Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski family. Big, different change of environment here in LA. Got my overalls. You sure do. You may Sometimes. wonder why I'm wearing these, but I just wanted why? to explain why we have these. Because they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. And they're matching. Yeah. Everybody likes to look the kids cool. Kids want to ski at me someday. Oh, but, Carhartt, yeah, Springsteen. We don't just match all the time just to match. I do. But when something works, I want it just to work, you know? So the kids would destroy their clothes down here with all of the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's a factory environment, a lot of grease and dark yeah. dirt. And, and so this makes it nice. They just slip them over their clothes, they hang them up when they're done with work, and we save the clothes. Save the laundry lady. At Anyways, the laundromat. So here's the deal, fun week. Last week uh, was really big. We ended up coming down to LA, and immediately I had extra projects at Ceramic Decorating Company which is a company I own with my father, that my grandfather started in 1934, it's 85 years old. And they came down and I love being able to do what I had as an opportunity as a child, which is to come into a factory environment and do those little projects. That we're all about playing hard, that's Big Ski Family, but work hard is critical, critical balance to play hard. And we don't want to raise children who just are always about going out and having fun or seeking pleasure, but to really have a grounded, awareness of what it takes to earn and save and why work is critical to enjoying uh, the freedom from not working at times. Morty, what do you do? Um, I shedded paper a bunch of big boxes that daddy, you know, had a bunch of files and I was like, okay, let's shed this and he goes down this little black thing. It was really cool to watch. All right, so Billy, you had uh, some hard work this week as well, right? And and what uh, what did, was your main job? Um, we did bottles and another thing, which I did some boxes, building boxes. Oh yeah, and how'd that work? So they were like all flat, and there was like a pallet this high of them, and you would rip them apart and make little bottles where you can stick them in, like six packs, and then well, like you little would, partitions. Yeah, and then I would prep boxes. So they were all flat like this. I would make them and then toss them. And what would and they do when they got them? They would tape them. Well, good work. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I too, love is it. Is it too hard? No. Nope. You sure? Yep. Make it big and strong? Yep. So, Kenzie, you were on all sorts of projects this week as well. What was, what was uh, kind of your work or your job? Um, probably loading bottles into boxes off the pallets. We just kind of grabbed them, put them in. So once you got in the system, I started out doing two, but then Renee came over and he was just loading them, just four at a time. I was like, oh, maybe we could do that. So at the end, we all ended up grabbing them and it went a lot faster, thanks to Renee, so. Yeah. Awesome, Renee showed you how. Hey Bear, hey. you were uh, doing a lot of work this week, which is yep. really fun. How many hours did you get in? Um, 20 hours. 20 hours of work in the last week, and you're doing school in the morning? Yep. Get done by what time? 11 to 11.30. 11, 11.30. And what part of the work do you enjoy? Uh, I like bottles Yeah. a lot, since you could go fast, that was really rewarding. We got a lot of pallets done. How many pallets do you think you did? Uh, I think it was 25 or wow. 26. Wow, wow. Do you know how many bottles that is? Well, the worker said was, 27,700 and something. 27,000? Yeah. 700. Wow. It's a lot of bottles. But you enjoyed it? <laughs> yeah. Very fun. It goes fast when you have a lot of people. Yeah. Teamwork makes a dream work. Well done. Barrington, for the past two years, is just like, Mommy, I just want to work. I just There's something about working in a factory that makes them feel like they're real men and they've it's got real, real jobs. And, and they do. Chloe Beth, you were on the job this week as well. Yes. Banging out of school in the morning and going to work in the afternoon, helping me out with some stuff. What did you do this week? My job was to stack them all up, and so it was kind of the more skilled labor. Skilled <laughs> the labor. The manual labors. The, you were tipsy or the, the balls were tipsy? The, the boxes were boxes tipsy? Boxes <laughs> okay. were tipsy. Okay. And so they would like, the full stacks would just fall over all the time. So Then you gotta do it again. Yes. Right, so you gotta do yeah. double work. Yeah. Thank you all for right. your help. Appreciate it, Chloe. So, I love working at Ceramic. I'm a, kind of a manual laborer anyway. I wash windows back and then, so it was kind of just down right down my alley. I love using physical things, using my strength. My strength, that's so great. And um, <laughs> anyway, so so like that. And then I also really loved learning from all the wonderful people that work at Ceramic because they have great worth ethics and are the most grateful people I know. So mm -hmm. that was something that I took away from working in ceramic.
Awesome. Thank you so much, Kenny. Yeah. Well, Care Bear, talk to me. You were here helping out a lot. We had a ton of going on with pallets and boxes and bottles, but there were other projects that needed your support. What were you up to? There was. Scratch! I was taking a bunch of boxes and files and old desk, old pretty much anything that needed to be moved out of these old offices over the new place. And then we were having to kind of organize it all. Oh, and I had to replace a few doors and locks. We had to move some desks out of the doors, so we had to take off the doors and then re-put them back on. And then I had to remove two locks from one side of the one of the doors and move it over to the other door because we needed to switch the locks up. And that was really fun for me. One of the locks was really, really old. And one of them took me a very long time to figure it out, but hey, it's back on, it works, locks, unlocks, and it works. So. And you like figuring things out. I do, I enjoy out. figuring things yeah. out. So, you know, I put it upside down a few times and then I was like, something's not right. So it was really fun, Cordy was helping me with that. And then of course I would come down in between different projects that daddy had me doing with other things. And I would help with bottles, boxes, whatever else needed help down in the plant. So good, Jared, yeah. thanks so much, appreciate You're it. So, you guys have a 30 minute lunch break, is that right? Yeah. Uh, what is your meal of choice? Hamburger. Uh, tortilla and cheese and hamburger, that's better. You need a bag. Oh, we got a straggle in. Here she comes. <laughs> Denise and I got a date down there in San Clemente. Yes. And I'll tell you what, good. San Clemente is one of our favorite spots. Um, away from Bend, Oregon and away from the mountains to get to the beach and San Clemente is such a great little Just quaintsy beach community um, And we spent a lot of time there uh, Jalinda and Janice's sister and a dear friend of mine Who's my brother-in-law Brad they live there with their family So it's just so fun to connect the kids hung out there at the house and we got to go Stroll on the pier and, uh, and enjoy a date night together, which yes. is cool and then you called up and you said, hey, I've got all my coach clients down here. What would you think about running down here and introducing the family to your class? So I'm here at Coach and uh, Santa Monica. Got the ocean there behind me, beautiful day. And it's lunchtime and I'm so pumped. I'm gonna surprise uh, my clients this, uh, today with a visit from my family. Janice and the seven younger children are here. So excited, they're up in the lobby. I'm gonna go find them. Look who's here. Hey, look who's here. Hi. How are you? Good to see you guys. How hey. fun is that? Hey, dude. Hey. What are you reading? What are you reading? Uh, David Livingston. Yeah. Awesome. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. Tubman. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you, sweetie. You're beautiful ladies. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. Yeah, hi, hi. What's up? Good. We Is were working hard or hardly working? Hardly working. Yeah, so much for the recipes. Oh, we got we lost. already cooked them out. <laughs> cooked we them already out. picked them out. Picked them out. We're so making glad you're here. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. That's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Working hard. Good to see hey, you. Hey, Daddy. Good, Good to see you. Too. Come on up. Come on up. Hi. Good to see you. Yes. Oh, come on up. Hey, how are you, buddy? Kimmy, spread on out. Here, Kimber. All right, who are you? I'm kidding. Ken Kenzie, we got Cordy. Uh, this is so fun. I'm here in my strategic coach workshop with all these amazing clients. Look at these people! <laughs> amazing! And I'm, I never get the luxury of doing this, of introducing my family to you guys. What's your Colby? Uh, 2486. 2486. 2486. And you, do you know your strengths better? I'll stop. Four of them are yours. Yeah, yeah. She's like my twin almost. I'm Kimberly and I'm 16. Great I'm job. Chloe and I am 14. I'm Barrington and I'm 12. My name's Kenzie and I'm 11. Um, my name's Billy and my household chore is uh, taking out my laundry. My name is Courtney and I'm 6. And love's set in motion for the divine one who reigns in our heart. And while you were down there, you we guys. got to enjoy the beach as well. And Santa Monica Pier, if you have never been there, I highly encourage going there. Very entertaining. <laughs>
inspired because every night he's like, he saw how ripped all the guys were and he's working on his muscles. Am I at the beach or Disneyland? I'm trying to decide what that is here. for mamas and if there was a hall of fame for mamas she would be in it my mother would be in it yes. her mother would be in it it was such a fun day to go to the place of Janice's birth mm -hmm. St. Jude Hospital so guys where are we St. Jude Hospital St. Jude, Jude Hospital. Hospital this is where your mama was born, born. Yeah. that's right right here happy Mother's Day it all started right yeah. here St. Jude in Fullerton California there it is there's the hospital then go to your childhood home. Yes. Back in the day when Mama was born here, it was not. It was not like this. This looks like the beautiful Mediterranean Taj Mahal or some resort. And it definitely wasn't this way years ago. There you go. There you go. Gentle, gentle. There they are. We got seven of the youngers in front of the Fullerton house. Just, a I, place where we did a nativity scene. For for years and years and years. At the, Christmas time. So many good memories of that place. And yeah. the place I went and got to meet her parents for the first time. And the, I mean, just it, the house has changed over the years. It's now much grander. It's much more beautiful than it was. But it's always been the place that was kind of the Fullerton house was the Johnston family home. But we ended up going down in Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, walked some of the shops down there. Um, just showing the kids kind of the mix of what goes on here in a big city in LA and uh, Finished up going to King Taco stood in line for a good long the time. The best tacos it ever. It was carne asada Beautiful little street tacos just surrounded by uh, a bunch of uh, folks in the middle of the night I think it was almost 11 o'clock at night by the time we got our tacos, but we had a really really fun Mother's Day Anyways life in the city is so different for us, but it's such an adventure no matter where you go. I love the fact that my family's getting more time with our team here at Ceramic. I know they love seeing the family and the family gets more time with them. Anyways, we're grateful and thank you for joining us this week. Yes. Have a fantastic week and I hope your life is an adventure right where you're at. Anyways, thanks for subscribing and joining along. Bye.